What? I can't believe they have this. I'm starting a sneaker collection with just a $20 bill by buying and selling sneakers that I pick up at thrift stores. Let's do it. Not so much today. Got some Nikes. Asics, Sakonese. Nothing I'm really into. Nice, got some LeBrons. A little worn. Really nice. Got some Under Armors. Not Curry's, just Under Armors. Nikes, more Under Armors. Oh, whoa, Heelys with no wheels. Dang, that would've been cool. Some Hyperdunks. Nine bucks, not bad. Okay, so unfortunately, first day out, nothing. Nothing in Goodwill, nothing in second half thrift. Um, but that's fine, that's just the way it goes. Hopefully later this week, we'll find something that's worthwhile and <laughs> we'll be able to spend some money. Which is crazy to say, but like we really do need to spend money to make money, so let's just cross our fingers and hope. Also, I thought you guys might be interested in what I'm wearing today while I'm going out thrifting. So today I'm wearing the Air Jordan 10 Soulflies, the tan suede ones, they're so fire. They're actually butter, to be honest, is a better way to describe them. And I'm also rocking the upcoming Apothecary checkerboard socks. I'm wearing the uh, tan and brown colorway. It looks really clean, but there's also a white and blue, a white and red, and I believe a white and black. They all dropped this Friday, July 29th, and uh, they're all fire, and I've been rocking them all week. Absolutely love them. If you guys want to grab them, apothecary.com, link in the description below. So first thing first, we got some Jordan Futures. Eh, not great condition, also not a great price. Let's see what else we got. We got some uh, PGs. No, these are, <laughs> these are Giannis. Greek Freak, I don't know which ones, maybe ones. No, I'm good on those too. Ooh, those are kind of weird. Look at these Air Maxes. Hmm. Never seen these before. 20 bucks too, not a bad price. I might actually grab these. And then some, uh, <laughs> looks like a mashup of the, uh, the Pharrell's and also the um, Zigtecs or whatever they're called. The ones that I reviewed a couple months back. Weird. Got some Adidas soccer inspired shoes, the uh, Predators, for 20 bucks. These prices are crazy. So I had a lot of trouble finding these online. In fact, I couldn't find them, which makes me think they're probably not quick movers. So I'm gonna leave them, even though they're in good condition. So these are in pretty good condition. They're a good price. I think I still have some uh, points left over because I bought hundreds of dollars worth of shoes I played on. <laughs> so I might grab these. They might not move that quickly, but for 20 bucks or hopefully less than 20 bucks, should probably be worth it. So I found some Pegasus too, but uh, they're not that expensive, but they're just not really moving for anything. So I found these Sockenies, which is actually kind of funny because I found some Brooks last episode and I kept calling them Sockenies and you guys made sure to let me know in the comments, but I found some Sockenies, really good condition, but they're 24 bucks. I'm not sure if I have the credit, but uh, I'm gonna try and go for it because they move really quickly online and they're in great condition. Let's try it. Viewer named Nikki just dropped off these shoes with me and said that they're brand new and they go for a decent amount of money and they're only 14 bucks here. So I think I'm gonna grab them. I think these are the, uh, the Converse Woolridge. Shout out to Nikki for the awesome pickup. Okay, so first of all, it's hot. Second of all, New Jersey no longer has bags, and uh, that's where I'm grabbing shoes from at Plato's Closet. So I didn't have any bags, and I grabbed a bunch of sneakers, so that was kind of a struggle. I forgot to bring bags. My bad. And uh, third of all, I picked up a bunch of sneakers, and it was awesome. So the first pair of sneakers that I grabbed was this pair of Air Max 90s, size 13, the uh, the bright orange colorway. Crazy shoe, but I saw a lot of sales of these on eBay, so I feel like they'd be worth it. I grabbed these Sockenies right here, which again, seem to sell pretty often, and they're also in great condition. I think they're a size 10 US men's, which is a good size and should be easy to sell. And then finally, shout out to Nikki, a viewer of the channel. She actually found this pair of Converse right here, the Converse Woolrite, I think. She found them for originally $14, size eight women's brand new it's definitely not a shoe that i'm familiar with so shout out to nikki for the assist on that that was insanely helpful i really appreciate it 
But uh, crazily enough, after all of these sneaker pickups, I ended up only paying $29, which is absolutely insane. And it all goes to show that saving up reward points is the move. I've been saving up reward points at Plato's Closet for like a year and a half at this point. I have hundreds of reward points. And because of that, I was able to get like, I don't know, like what, 25-ish dollars off the whole thing, which is absolutely insane. And if you guys can save up reward points, it's something that I absolutely recommend doing. You can't do it everywhere, like you can't do it at Goodwill. Um, you can't do it at some other thrift stores, but I'm not 100% sure if you can do it at Buffalo Exchange. I don't think you can, but you might be able to. So if you can, create an account, save up those points because it'll absolutely help you out, especially when you're doing a challenge like this. We got some amazing sneakers for a, a great price, and I think this will move really well, and we should be able to uh, pretty quickly increase the sneaker collection fund. And uh, I'm stoked. I really can't wait. And I'm sweating like crazy. So I need to turn on the air conditioner of this car because if I don't, I might die. Not too much today. We got some Nikes, some, uh, I don't know, off brands, Felis. Got some Nike Renews for 12 bucks. Basically brand new too. Too bad I don't have enough. That sucks. I would grab this. Oh man, more too. That stinks. Crazy. They're still here. But again, not enough money. It's it's still so hot. It's crazy. I can't even get over it. But uh Goodwill was fine. There wasn't really too much in there. Surprisingly, there was actually still both pairs of the Nike Zoom Alpha Fly Next Percent twos, which really took me by surprise. Um apparently no one wants them, which is kind of crazy. Now I did read in the comments that someone thought they were fake because they didn't have a tag. And I looked at the shoes again. While I don't think that they're fake, I think that someone ripped off the size tag inside the shoe because it's usually sewn inside the insole and the insole can't come out. So I think that maybe someone just ripped it off because it rubbed against their foot when they were running or something like that. That wouldn't surprise me. And again, I just don't know any other way to identify the size of the shoe. So for me, one, again, I don't have enough money. And two, it, it would just be such a huge pain in the butt to try and figure it out. And then I probably would have to guess, might not get it right and then have a pissed off customer. So it's just not worth it. Um, and I'm just gonna leave them. And I think that's why everyone else is leaving them. So I guess on to the next. So at this point, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little dismayed. I thought that maybe the week was over because we had $4.21, which you can't really do much with. It's not like it was the end of the week and I could go to a yard sale, which is what I'd usually do with that amount of money. But the good news is we did end up selling one of the pairs of sneakers that we picked up from Play-Dohs very, very quickly. And that pair was the Saucony Endorphin Pro. That was actually the most expensive pair that we picked up from Play-Dohs. I believe I paid $12 for that pair. And the good news was within 24 hours, we got an offer and the offer was for 30 bucks. And while that wasn't exactly what I was asking for. I believe I was asking for 50. I felt like it was a quick enough turnaround. It was a good amount of money, so I took it. And after the seller's fees and the eBay advertising fees, we were left with $27.21 to add back into the sneaker collection fund. And of course, when you subtract the original purchase price of the shoes, we're left with a net profit of $15.21, which is more than doubling our investment. I'm really happy with that. And after that sale, we're left with a new sneaker collection fund of $31.42, which is pretty decent considering we have two other pairs of sneakers in stock that haven't even sold yet. Actually, speaking of that, we did sell the Nike Air Maxes, uh, at least we technically sold them, but the dude never paid. And it's been four days, so I had to cancel the listing and relist them. I think his offer was for something like 45 bucks, and even though it was less than what I was asking for, which I think was like $78, I still took it because I wanted a quick flip. It would have been nice to add like 40-ish bucks to the sneaker collection fund, but unfortunately, that's not what's happening. And instead, we only had one sale, but I'm happy we had at least one sale and the shoes are relisted, so hopefully they'll sell over the weekend. Let's see. Fifty bucks. No, I'm good on that. Brand new Ultra Boost Nineteens. Forty bucks. That's actually not bad. Here, let me check the price on these guys. I should also have a discount on these guys too. So I might try and use some of my points. So these are moving, but like very slowly, and only in other countries, which is kind of odd. So, I'm not sure if I want to grab these or not. But they're brand new. For 40 bucks after my using my discount points hopefully less like maybe like 30. not bad oh man we got jordans we got threes 30 bucks size five not bad and they got the uh the little cardboard in there let me check the price the air jordan 3 anthracite dark gray sold listings looking like yeah 50 bucks I'm just selling for 40. Now I'm good on these. Got some KDs, Pumas, Air Max 97s. 
30 bucks, now I'm good. Roshi runs for 30, actually 20, not bad. As tempting as these are, I think I'm gonna grab the Ultra Boost. I think if I can get like five, 10 bucks off these, I could probably sell them for like 50 to 60. Nothing really else I want. So I think we should grab these. Okay, so probably the last stop of the week because we're pretty much out of money. So unless we sell something, this might be the last stop of the week. We picked up a brand new pair of Adidas Ultra Boost 19s, which is kind of crazy. You barely ever find brand new Ultra Boost. The one concern that I have with these is that there's not a lot of sales of these on eBay. Hopefully, because they're brand new, they'll move quickly. I'm gonna promote the listing, so I'll probably lose like 4% of the listing final value, but it'll be worth it because I'm trying to move these quickly. I got these for, they were originally listed at 40 bucks, size 10 and a half. I used $10 off. Um, I had like, I think 109 points and it cost me 30 points to get $10 off. So now it's down to 30. So we're within the budget, which is good. And uh, I think I could sell these for 50 to 60. I was kind of thinking more when I was in the store. And then after I walked out, I was like, you know what? Nah, these are probably not gonna move that quickly. So I'll probably have to drop the price, which is unfortunate. But yeah, I got some good sneakers for 30 bucks. Uh, we don't have to clean them up, which is awesome. I'm gonna go list these and then we should be good to go. So after those pickups, we round off the week with a sneaker collection fund of $1.42. That is an insanely low amount of money, but we've got three sneakers in stock and hopefully they sell. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I am a little bit concerned. Hopefully things sell. I've got them all promoted on eBay, so hopefully they sell quickly. Um, if not, I'll throw them on like Facebook or OfferUp or something like that. Actually, just to show you guys what we have before we end off the week, of course, we've got those Air Max 90s, which uh, I thought sold, ended up not selling, and they're still available on eBay. Um, they're in pretty good condition. I grabbed them for 10 bucks, so even if they sell for like 20 or 30, we're still making some decent money on them. Next up, we've got the brand new Converse Woolrich. I think it's the collaboration. This is sort of like a Chelsea boot Converse. It's brand new, which is kind of nice. It's in a women's size six and a half, I believe, or women's size six. This is a pair I grabbed for like, I don't know, seven bucks or something like that, something insane. I don't remember the exact amount, but it's brand new. I'm hoping it's gonna sell quickly. It hasn't yet, unfortunately, and I have it listed for around $40. So I'm kind of hoping that maybe it sells for like 30 and we make, you know, 20 bucks on it. So that's the hope. We'll see if it actually happens. And then the final pair that we have is this brand new pair of Ultra Boost 19s that we literally just picked up. Grab them for 30 bucks, still have their tags. Unfortunately, don't have a box, so they are a little bit harder to sell. Can't like throw them on StockX or anything like that. But uh, I have these listed for, I believe, like 89 or $90, um, I'm willing to take offers for less. I think realistically, I'm probably gonna get 70 or 60 for them, which is still doubling my money. And when it comes to 30 bucks, at least right now in the series or the challenge, that's a pretty big amount of money, a pretty big chunk to add. So hopefully these sell over the weekend. Unfortunately, because they're Ultra Boost 19s, they're not as popular. And unfortunately, this colorway is also pretty crazy, so it also might not be as popular. We'll see what happens. I'm hoping to double my money on these. So I think in total, the potential profit that I'm hoping for, at least net profit, is like 30, 20, and then another like 20 or 30. So in total, like 70 extra dollars, $120 worth of sneakers here. We'll see, we'll see what happens. In a perfect world, they'd sell and they'd sell quickly, but who knows? So I realized after I posted the first episode that some of you all might not know what colorways that we're going for for the end goal of the series to create a Jordan wall clock. And it's interesting because a lot of these shoes actually released in multiple colorways. So there are multiple colorways that I could grab for this series. The shoes that I'm particularly going for, at least in order of number, are the Chicago Air Jordan 1s. I guess in theory though, we could also go with the Bread Air Jordan 1s. We need a pair of Chicago Air Jordan 2s. We need a pair of white cement threes. We need a pair of fire red fours, which I guess also could be bread fours. We need the metallic fives, which I guess also could be the fire red fives. I believe they dropped on the same date, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll double check that. For the sixes, I think we need the infrared sixes, the black infrared sixes. For the sevens, I think we need the Olympics. For the eights, the aquas or the hairs. For the nines, we need that original black and white colorway. For the tens, we need the steel gray tens. For the elevens, I believe we need the concords. And then finally, for the twelves, we need a pair of the taxis. So that's it's definitely gonna be an undertaking. It's gonna take a minute to grab all these shoes. The good news is they don't have to be the OG releases, just the original colorways. And the good news is for a lot of the more expensive colorways on this list, we're getting re-releases this year, like the Chicago ones and the Chicago twos. So uh, it will make it a little bit easier, or at least a little bit less expensive, which I'm excited about. But I guess with that, we pretty much wrap up the episode for today. If you're new to the series, I definitely recommend checking out the first episode of the series, the last episode that I just did. There'll be a link at the top of the screen and also in the top of the description below. It'll kind of give you guys some background of what I'm doing here and why I'm trying to build a Jordan clock, which I realized I didn't say anywhere in this episode, but that's the end goal. I'm not trying to go for something like a pair of mags. I'm trying to go for like 12 different OG Jordans, which I think is going to look really sick. It'll allow us to have sort of a visual representation of how the series is going. And it'll also force us to basically restart every couple episodes. Like whenever we buy an expensive pair of sneakers, we pretty much got to start from scratch again, which I feel like is going to make the series 
a lot more interesting. So that's generally what I'm trying to do with the series. Again, if you missed the first episode, definitely make sure to check that out. Link in the top of the description below. But I guess with that, we finish things off. I would love to know your thoughts on this episode and also this series and how you think I can improve. So make sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.